G'day guys, Mungrel here. Welcome back to the Madhouse. Um, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about our training side of our organisation. As you know, Mungrel Gear builds and, and services copters, such as the Inspire One we've got here. But we also do and offer training to get certified and become licensed to fly these things. And I have with me here today, Roger Woods. He is our lead RPAS instructor in our organisation. Hello Roger, how are you? I'm good, Mungrel. How are you? Oh, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Um, I thought I'd bring you in today and just have a bit of a chat about um, our training courses, what they are, um, what it allows people to do, a little bit about yourself, I guess, mm -hmm. as well. Just uh, give people an idea on, on what it is to become licensed in RPAS. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, what, what's your background in the industry? All right. Well, I've been flying since I was about 19 years old. I spent uh, 20 years as a Black Hawk pilot and instructor. Uh, in the army, right, and then about six or seven years ago, transitioned into civil flying. I'm presently a helicopter captain on an emergency medical services helicopter, right. And but part of that was I got in, into uh, remote piloted aircraft about ten years ago, right. Uh, in fact, it was in Dili East Timor uh, when we were pretty bored overseas, mm -hmm. and we used to build our own aircraft and have competitions with each other, and it's pretty well continued from there. So I guess I've become a person who likes to fly aircraft I'm in, and I also like to fly the ones I'm not in. They're very, very good, like the rest of us, I guess. Um, so we brought you on board, obviously, as an RPAS instructor. What is it that, um, that you, you could bring to our organisation that would benefit the student, in particular to anyone else, for instance, who just flies UAVs? Well, I guess I've got a real uh, focus that what we're making is pilots. Right. We're not making somebody that's learning to play with a toy better. Yes. We're making people who are going to fly aircraft and they're going to fly aircraft quite extensively. Right. They need to be able to fly aircraft professionally and to do that, uh, they need some good instruction, they need some uh, good direction. Yes. And that's what, I'm, that's what I'm here to do is provide that level of aviation expertise uh, to everything that, that they want to achieve. That's right, because our courses are not just based on flying these things, there's a lot of aviation specific information behind it as well, right? That's right. Um, whenever you're going to stick something in the sky, you need to know things like airspace and weather and what the rules are that are going to affect you and how you're going to deal with the fact that you're a pilot and you're putting an aircraft in the air. Excellent. So just to give us a quick brief rundown on what the course uh, com comprises of from the five-day aspect. Okay, well, the course has obviously got two components. It's got the practical flying component Yep. and it also has a theory component because there's a, a big requirement to have some background knowledge so that you can go out there into the field and apply it. Um, so when we when we kick off the course, um, we talk about, hey, what, what are these things and what do they do? Where are they heading? And I don't think it's any surprise to anybody that these things are the internet or mobile phone of the future. Um, and then we talk about, okay, well, where are we going to operate them? What sort of uh, environments are they going to exist in? And, and we start to learn about airspace. We learn about meteorology because obviously there's something that we put in the air. Yep. We learn about the rules and the regs that, that are, are relevant to flying any aircraft, whether it be manned or not manned. And then we talk about things that are specific to various aircraft types, uh, the tech, the fuel that we use for them, which yep. is our batteries. Yep. And then we'll uh, go out in the field and start to put all that into practice by putting aircraft in the air and starting to practice some of the skills that people need if they're going to operate these things. And I guess that's that's the, the key thing is the skills and the not, not not just the skills I guess but the aviation knowledge and knowing that when you put these things up, they're they're now in in a completely different airspace than just flying at your local flying field at, at, the, at the park, right? You start you could possibly share airspace with manned aircraft. That's right, and and that's the whole thing is these things as they become more and more advanced, are going to more and more just need to integrate into the whole flying spectrum. So when uh, somebody goes and jumps on a, a Qantas aircraft to fly from point A to point B, that aircraft needs to be able to integrate with UAVs and the uh, UAVs, or RPAS as they're correctly called now, mm -hmm. needs to be able to integrate with those manned uh, aircraft systems. Okay. Well. And so the course, anyone with, without any knowledge at all, let's say, you know, Joe Bloggs rings up and he wants to become certified, he's never flown anything before, yep. can he pass that, this course? Oh, absolutely. The course has been designed uh, for the person that has no prior experience or knowledge. Right. Uh, there is some learning, some pre-course learning that goes out. Uh, we have some packages that go out. And then we certainly pick people up from where they are. It's right. not a case of like some other courses, you need to get to this quite high standard uh, before you can effectively do the course. Mm -hmm. There's a course where we come to somewhere, we meet you, and I know that I'll get people to a good standard by the end of the course every time. Because you, you've also instructed like manned aircraft, right? So you, you're an instructor pilot, right? Yep. I'm an instructor and 
Uh, I did that instructional uh, course in the military actually, so uh, when I take on a student, I'm taking them from that point and I want to get them to something that I can be proud of and so can they. Yeah, because I guess there's a difference between being skilled and having the knowledge, but being able to deliver that knowledge effectively and, and educating someone, I guess, is a skill within itself. Yeah, that's right. I actually have a, uh, a psychology degree, degree in human learning and skill performance. Right. And that's helped me in my manned aircraft flying career, and it's just as applicable in the uh, remote piloted aircraft sphere. So there you go, guys. I guess uh, for those looking to become certified, um, our, we've got our courses all up online. Uh, FPVAustralia.com.au is our website. Um, Roger's just you know, pointed out the very good reasons why you should become certified and, and, and not operate outside the law. I guess we haven't touched on that a little bit. The consequences of operating outside the law can be quite significant, right? Yeah, when people put an aircraft in the air, they're, they're taking on uh, something that an aircraft captain like me takes very, very seriously. Every, every time I put an aircraft in the air, whether it's manned or unmanned, I know that I can affect not just the mission, the task that I'm doing, but I can affect other people as well. I can affect them positively, which is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But if I get it wrong, I can affect them negatively. And this course is about learning the pitfalls, learning the ways that you can do business to make sure things go right every time you fly. Excellent. And, and look, that, that's pretty much why we brought Roger on board. Uh, we believe Roger is probably the best candidate in this country to deliver a course like this. So if you're looking to get certified, fpvaustralia.com.au. You can also get to it from mongrelgear.com.au. Um, if you've got any questions, fire us an email, pick, us, pick the phone up, give us a call. Happy to help. Anywhere in the country, we'll come to you. Um, we've got the best man on board who can deliver the course to get the job done right. We'll get you certified, get you doing things properly and legally, and more importantly, safely. So from us here at Mungrel Gear, uh, safe skies for all. Enjoy. Cheers. Thank you.